welcome to Timothy Reviews two different frozen pizzas to figure out which one is good and which one isn't as good. First pizza is Kroger brand extra thin crust extra pepperoni pizza. There's the box. For those of you who want to do like a screenshot of like the ingredients and all that stuff. Okay, yeah, there's that. And then there is Red Baron. Red Baron. Brick oven crust pepperoni pizza. There is the box. Gorgeous, gorgeous box. And there is... Yeah, I'm using a very bad camera, obviously, so laugh all you want. Okay, so... This... Right here can see it this is the Kroger brand stuff I already had some of this I'm pretend I haven't had it so taking off these okay first things first pepperoni tastes kind of like like really cheap Pepperoni. The kind that, like, I've heard people compare frozen pizza to, like, they say the pepperoni tastes like dog food. Yeah, it tastes kind of like, it tastes kind of like what you would imagine, like, the meat you would find in a can for dog food would be like. So, it's it tastes kind of like salami. It's not very good. And then, um, it's kind of covered in spices that kind of bring up the flavor a little bit, like a little bit of pepper, I think. But it's still not good. Next thing's next. The cheese is kind of it's there, kinda. It's like unusually sweet. It's got the taste of like like just straight plain Parmesan kind of, or maybe like really sweet mozzarella. The sauce is um, kind of sweet, a little bit tangy. I'm not sure if I like that or not. But we can all agree the pepperoni needs a little more kick. And the cheese could have a little more variation. And maybe the sauce could be a little thicker, I suppose. And the bread's kind of... It's crackery. It tastes like a cracker. I like crackers, but... So, Red Baron, brick oven crust, first things first, okay, see how the, the pepperoni is different, like this pepperoni got like a little bit, like a lot of grease on it, it's look is dried out, it's very chewy, wow, that is definitely spicy. Very pleasing texture. I mean, it's the best pepperoni in the world, but that's pretty good. This pizza runs from like two eighty eight to like four bucks. It's pretty damn enjoyable. Um, let's t let's take some of the cheese off and just eat that separately. Yep, well, there's enough sauce that couldn't do that. The cheese is, it's there. It's kind of a little bit mixed. It's not too bad. Um, sauce. It's sweet. And savory. And it's much more present. It's kind of hard to separate the cheese from the sauce. And the crust is just... Kind of hard and tough on the side. Which we've overcooked a little bit. That was a tough breadstick kind of feel. But it's just the fact that it's a brick oven pizza. I'm trying to cook a little bit. If you like, like, a, like a Texas toast kind of flavor, you'll probably like this. Yeah, it's very nice. The, the, the inside crust is kind of... tough and leathery, but... like in a good way? Like, like eating like an English muffin... Like a really good bagel. 
So, I would say these are both pretty good. Um, I don't think the brick oven pizza is my favorite from Red Baron. Even though I do like tougher breads. It's a little bit weird. Um, I have to say the extra thin crust, extra pepperoni Kroger pizza is... It's food. You see those... Totino's party pizzas you see at the store? Don't get yourself those. The cheese isn't real cheese. They say so in the box. There's like a tiny bit of cheese in there. But mostly just oil. And the meat's like super questionable. Sauce is transparent. You think this is crackery? Totino's party pizzas are really crackery. I mean, it, it's pretty good for a dollar. It's like, you know, ramen noodles of pizza. But, and as for the uh, the extra thin, extra pepperoni crust Kroger pizza, I would say if it's really good price, sure, get it, I suppose. I mean, add a lot of hot sauce on it, a lot of pepper, Parmesan, or um, drink while eating it. It's a lot better than the party pizza, so if you're willing to eat the party pizzas, then eat that. And uh, it's not nearly as good as Tony's Pizzas, if you know what those are. They're made by the same company that makes Red Baron. Um, those are pretty good, too. They're, they're better than this. Okay, so that's pretty much the entire review. Um, I hope you uh, enjoyed it. And if you didn't, you can go cry in a dark place.